Today we are going to connect electricity to your mobile phone so that you can know exactly how much electricity your house is consuming. You will be able to see in real time the consumption when you turn on your TV, your AC, the stove, microwave and everything else that you have at home. What each one consumes instantaneously and you'll also have access to historical data by day, week, month, year or whatever period that suits us best. This is my favorite tool to save energy and money every single month. What's even cooler is that we will have exactly our consumption profile on our smartphone and if one day I want to install solar panels or a battery I will be able to calculate much better the right size for my system or if you already have a solar system like I do then you will be able also to measure the solar production that you have. It's really cool. We are going to use Shelly AM Generation 3, which is super simple to install and very affordable, giving us loads of information and even the possibility to connect it to Home Assistant. This is not a tutorial, it's just me sharing my experiences with you. And although this is a really simple installation, we are dealing with electricity. So if you have any questions, just hire a professional that does the job for you and everything goes smoothly. The Shelly AM comes in a package, a Along with a clamp sensor. The one I've got here is the third generation but in my electrical panel I still have a first generation one which I did install five years ago and is still working perfectly. Now connecting the Shell EM is really simple and I'll give you the example using my test panel so it's even easier. Let's go to the main switch and turn it off to make sure there's no electricity running. Now I can open the panel cover which may look a bit different from mine but this structure will be more or less the same. Here we can see that the grid power enters the main switch from the top and it comes out from the bottom and it goes into the residual current device RCD on the left side which then feeds the remain circuit breakers. Now the Shell EM Generation 3 comes with the current clamp that's right over here and to connect it we just need to snap it into where it says IA. Now we will cut two wires, one for phase and one for neutral to connect the Shell EM. I connect the face which is usually brown or a black wire where it says L and the neutral which is usually a blue wire where it says N. Once both are connected to the Shelly AM, I connect them back to my panel. I will connect the phase wire to a free breaker or if I don't have a free breaker then I will be able to connect together with another appliance because this wire is really thin so it will fit just perfectly. And then the neutral will go to the neutral buzz bar which in this example is at the top left side. Now that the Shelly is connected and it has power, let's place the clamp. On the bottom of the clamp you will see letters K and L with an arrow. We will connect it with the arrow pointing in the direction of the electricity flow. So the K will be facing the grid and the L will be facing into my installation. The wire where the clamp must go is the main phase wire, which is brown or black, in this particular case brown, that comes from the main switch. And now we just need to tidy up the Shelly AM inside the panel so that we can close it. We can use zip ties or if you prefer any other method but we can also 3D print a holder like I did. It took about 30 minutes or so on my Creality High and it turned out great. And now I can just snap the Shelly M into the holder and place it in the panel on the DIN rail making everything much neater. Before closing the panel I'll turn the main switch back on, then the RCD, the breaker with the single test lamp and also the breaker where the Shelly AM is connected. Now comes the fun part, opening the Shelly app it will automatically detect the Shelly AM, we can add the device, follow a few simple steps, giving it a name and in about two minutes or so we have the Shelly AM measuring the entire consumption of our home. Of course here I'm only turning a lamp on and off which consumes about 20 watts but in a real situation like I do have in my main panel I can measure the consumption of any appliance 
appliance from a 20 watt lamp to the most powerful device on my app you can see two values the top one is the consumption when it shows negative it means i'm selling electricity to the grid and when it shows positive it means that i'm buying electricity the value below shows my solar production the total output of my photovoltaic system which is split into four and on the consumption side i can see instant values but also my daily consumption per hour weekly data and even shows yellow and white lines comparing past and projected future though you can disable them like i did for a few minutes i can choose to view monthly data which gives me a comparison with my bills for example or i can go to the billing date exactly i can also view yearly data for a broader overview even going back to my previous years to see which months i did consume more or less or when i did produce more or less solar energy really cool and super interesting to understand our consumption profile at first i bet that you will be turning on your ac turning on your tv turning on your stove to see how much energy each one of those devices is consuming and in no time without seeing anything just by looking at the app when someone will turn on any device you will know that at this moment this was the microwave and now the microwave stopped and now someone turned on the water heater and now it turned off it's really really cool and we will learn to see our house with the different kinds of eyes on the production side we will need to connect a second clamp to the shelly am and we will see what you are producing in real time plus the full history like we did with the consumption we will have instant daily weekly monthly yearly amazing for keeping track of our numbers i even have another shelly em connected only to my battery measuring what's being injected into the battery battery and what's being drawn from the battery it's really great and it's a use case that you won't find on a manual actually anything that i've read so far do not mention measuring a battery power injection and consumption but it's here right over here i do have the power consumption that goes into my battery system and the power consumption that comes out of the battery system and if we want we can integrate all this with ohm assistant which opens up another world of possibilities with more charts and ways of visualizing our data that's really really cool but we could fit in about 10 videos or so just to start with it it's not going to be today to save energy is very similar to lose weight we will only be able to do so if we are able to measure and then calculate where we are going to save in this particular case it's not calories it is watts per hour so once we know how much our tv is consuming how much our ac is consuming we will no longer go to the supermarket for one hour and just leave the tv on just to leave it because we know that we are spending 100 watts hour and that will add up at the end of the month at the end of the year it's a lot of money and if we don't know if we don't measure we will not act towards the saving we are actually spending more money than we should i've been using shelly m since 2020 five years have passed and it is my favorite tool to save energy and save money every single month hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one